Hello again and welcome back to For the King. Which I've just realised we actually have a queen, not a king. So that name makes no sense. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, I've got to just make one little apology for what I said in the last episode. I said something about how there's no tutorial and what can you expect from an early access game. I am I was wrong about that. There is a tutorial. I assume it's because I'm playing on normal that none popped up. So if you do want the tutorial, play on easy. Anyway, moving on from that, let's carry on with the adventures of our three helpless peasants as they try not to die. Uh, Keyword try. Um, where are we at? So. Okay, remember the controls. Oh yeah, we wanted to do that side quest and then we've got to go to the glittering mines. And I only have four health. Just toggle on the stats. Oh, it's a cavern. Shift click for more info. While travelling in the wilderness, one will happen upon a variety of situations and encounters, ranging from fortuitous to outright deadly. Unknown encounters marked by question marks may be identified with an identity scroll. So that's about perception. So that's me. Well, Antle. I need to get health. That's when I find out that's actually giving you health. Services, a healer. And there goes most of my money. I'm going to spend this game permanently broke, aren't I? Your perception 66. Why not? Oh, okay. Um, I've got an 88% chance. I'm 86% chance. I'm feeling confident we're going to get something out of this. And I don't want to waste this turn. So, attempt. Oh! Oh, yes! For Rob! Using this herb will relieve the user of all curses. Uh, using this herb will traveling to gain additional action points. Use it in combat to increase attack speed. Reveals identity of an unknown landmark. Oh, we were just talking about an identity scroll. Convenient. Some might say too convenient. Oh yeah, but if you don't do anything you gain health. I forgot about that. And there goes all my money again. What's that? Devote to receive a full heal plus two attack damage. Oh, why well, had I not realised that earlier? It's going to be full health by the time we get there. Okay then. Let's get this shit going. Beastman, I challenge you to a duel. Okay, we're gonna do this smart. And do this clever. He says. Uh, just let's hit the first one with my basic attack. Ooh. Wait, how do I dodge? Evasion. I assume that means I have a 1 in 5 chance of dodging. Ah. Lovely to know. Um, well, you've got armor, so it makes sense to hit you with the magic attacks. <laughs> Abedoom. <laughs> now, if I'm gonna... I should have noticed this before. If I'm gonna heal, I'm probably getting back my focus points when I level up. And this... Blue bar is experience. Yes? Yes. Then they're all gonna level up at this fight. Fucking hell, I forgot I gave this guy the sword. Jesus Christ!
Why does it have... So that's less accurate, but fuck does it do damage. <laughs> Which one do I want to hit with it? You. Found my last bit of focus. But I'm gonna go for all my focus anyway, so... Abadoom. Why does everyone go for Rob? It's not done anything to you. Perfect. No. Cleave. So two cleavers. Only passing two, I still do nine damage. Yep, they all leveled up. Just, just about. Uh, leather vests. I was gonna give it to him, to me, but Rob, you are getting kind of abused right now. Plus one talent, plus four luck. What's talent? Um, luck. What's luck? Who has the most talent? You, you do. But you already have a helmet, don't you? I will equip it for now. Traveling boots. Plus one speed, plus one awareness, plus two evasion, plus one armor. That's definitely going on me. Another leather vest. Shit, I got a lot of stuff for this. And we're all full health? No, you're not. So what's this? Stone circle. So I'll send one person to that. Sanctus having built for each god. If an adventurer chooses to devote themselves, the character will receive the god's unique blessing and granted much power. If the character dies while devoted to a sanctum, it will crumble. So actually I could have them all devote themselves to that. Plus two attack damage. I feel like Rob could use that. His attacks are a bit weak. Plus a five oh, effect. But again, I want Rob to go there. So, I will go use it. I bow down to the sanctum of blood. Bless me, blood. Excellent. Now go and spill the blood of your foes. What's that? Oh, devoted to. Uh, end turn. Plus two XP, plus one max focus. Oh yeah, I didn't get all my focus back. I thought when I leveled up I would. It means I'm gonna have no focus for that dungeon. But for the future. I mean five focus sounds pretty damn rad. End turn. Well, that does alarm me, thank you very much. So, cheers for that. Oh, I wanted to check. I for inventory? No. Inventory. So, you've got. I thought I gave. Oh, you don't have any body armor. Oh, the heavy sword requires. So, I had to get rid of pl that armor. I got rid of the ability to do taunt. In exchange for being a massive walking. 
machine of death. And I'm lucky, so yay luck. Oh, so that means I can fight from three tiles away, I assume. He's level two. It's gonna be a tough fight, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a little bridge. <laughs> What's that mean? Immune to burning. Okay. Well, he's attacking no matter what I do. See, we're gonna do this tactically, guys. He's attacking no matter what I do. But I can get rid of the burr before it attacks it. Okay, do more damage to the bird. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, look, the arrow's still stuck in its eye. Oh, that's cool. Area blasters. I did 5 and 3 before. Did it go up because I went up a level? I assume so. Awesome. Oh, uh, shit. The enemies aren't allowed to dodge. It's against the rules. Fucking hell, Rob, how do you have so much money? I must be in the cave. Actually, we're all gonna go to the village and uh, have a party. Teleport Scott. Rob, you're our scroll man. Okay, Zelly's watch. That's level three. That's level three. That's level two. Okay, we're gonna avoid enemies. And I'm fully healed. And I don't actually need to do shit. So, gentlemen, I shall wait for you. By our future. Oh, actually, could I go in? Do I need to all be? Well, I'm definitely not fighting that thing. I can make it. Do we need to all be together? Or... End turn. Yeah, we actually do need to all be nearby. Oh yeah, um, it's not him I want, it's Rob I want to use the inventory on. Oh, it doesn't matter. I want to tr move the teleport scrolls in case we ever get separated. Enter party. Enter alone. I wonder if there's special perks for going in alone. Treasure chest. 
Who's the lucky one again? Uh, imagery. It was Sigrun, wasn't it? The feather hat was the luck. Yeah. Uh, Sigrun. Open it for us. Oh, fucking hell. If it's got 30 health. What? It's gonna rip us apart. Come on. Yes. It's like ignore the armor. How much damage do you wanna do? Jesus Christ. So, using up a lot of focus for this. Rob. Oh, Anthony. Antal. Oh god, I can't do names. Perfect. No! Uh, sick when I failed you. Okay, that does. I need to ignore the resistance. Yeah, I use up the last one. Actually, no, I know, I could have hit him with my other people, I didn't need to use up focus. Using this herbal will replenish focus. Uh, there you go, Rob. Silk scarf, plus two evasion, plus one physical damage, plus two speed. There you go, Anthony. That's a healing item, isn't it? That's a replenish focus. Um, no one have any healing items? No? Okay. Well. I'm going to leave it there, guys, today. I know it's going to be a short episode. I don't have much time today. Um, here's hoping... <laughs> I'm going to come back to this tomorrow. Um, here's hoping we don't all die a painful death, but I think... We are all going to die a very painful death. At least Sigmund's going to die. He might die and then I might just run for the hills with me and Rob. Don't need you, Sigmund. You're surplus to requirements. So we might take your loot. Anyway, if you liked what you watched, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And goodbye.